for tomorrow. But I, I think it's going to be a great matchup when you think about uh, a team like you and I. Their, their style of play is second slowest in the nation. And I know we talk about, hey, we want to see increased scoring, but there, there's a reason why diverse styles are successful in our game. You see teams like UVA and teams like you and I play these styles. So the question for Wichita State is, can they remain patient enough offensively to get the right kind of shot, or can they potentially speed the game up? I don't think they will be able to. I think they have to be more efficient offensively. Uh, and then how do they handle Seth Teto? I, I don't think anybody really expected, I know I didn't expect, to see Wichita State get blown out at you and I the first time around. I, I think the chances are probably a little bit in favor of Wichita State for a game like this. I think Fred and Ron need to be on their game. I think Darius Carter and Takil Cotton need to bring that same kind of intensity defensively for guarding a guy like Seth Tuttle. And I think they need to be careful with the basketball. Um, I think it's going to be an unbelievable atmosphere. When you start seeing tweets, uh, I was on a plane because I was delayed for the past four and a half hours. So I was uh, you know, tweeting a ton of people, and you start seeing tweets about over 10,000 people uh, potentially being here tomorrow for game day. If, if they're going to be here for game day and be that rowdy, I can't imagine how this place is going to be when the actual game occurs. So I, I'm stoked for it. I'm pumped up. Uh, it makes me want to get a uniform and play myself. And uh, that's what these things are all about. Reaction to get Tuttle to touch. And he's their only double figure scorer, so they basically surround him with four shooters. They're, they're a good shooting team, but it's not like they have one or two guys that knock down threes. They've got several of them that are three point threats. And Tuttle's such a good passer, a good decision maker, and every action that Jacobson runs has a specific counter to it. So if you cheat it, if you jump it, the counter is going to get you. And sometimes they have counters to the counter they run. And Tuttle, every move that he makes has a counter. And not a lot of big guys have that. They have go-to moves, but they don't necessarily have a counter to them. And so however you guard it, he can exploit the way you guard it with a, with a counter. And the other part of it is the way they, Northern Iowa defends a little bit differently than Wichita State. They're more of a pack, pack line team, essentially. And they're going to, pack the lane and make you shoot over and limit you to one shot. And Wichita State is more of a uh, passing lane, press, turn you over, uh, turn defense into offense team. Uh, so that, that contrast is kind of nice. I mean, you, the way I look at it, and I've never played them, uh, but you, you look in, you, know, you look at that game, it's, it's different than any other game, almost any other game you play, because uh, it's a game you can get easily frustrated. If you try to speed up a game like that on offense, you could find yourself in a time of possession battle uh, where you uh, you spend most of your time on defense and then you come down, take a quick shot, all of a sudden you're on defense again. And rhythm is really hard to establish against.